Nine three is kind of a weird section, similar right triangles. Just remember, they're similar. You need to turn to page 478 and copy down uh, theorem 9.6. When you're looking at theorem 9.6, looks confusing, or at least I think it looks confusing. Maybe I'm wrong, it's fine. I'd be very happy for it to be less confusing to you than it is to me. Here's the core concept, the basic idea. We have a right triangle with an altitude that's a line going from here down perpendicular to the hypotenuse. So when we do that, each side of that altitude, so each of the two smaller triangles that we made are similar and they're similar to the larger triangle, okay? So triangle, uh, B, C, D is similar to A, C, D is similar to A, B, C. Okay, so small is similar to small is similar to the whole kit and caboodle. Okay, now I'm going to skip the bottom of page 478 um, because it's just the small one is similar to the other medium sized one is similar to the entire triangle when you put them back together from the same triangle that we split them apart. The math gets a little funky. So let's draw those together. Um, we are at the bottom of page 479. You will want to draw this with me. I say it. Some people don't believe me. It's cool. You might still get your high school diploma. <laughs> okay. Draw it with me, though. Getting an understanding of this mess. Okay. And I do like that they tell us the whole hypotenuse. Oh, it's a three, four, five right triangle. Oh, that means we got to say it. Three, four, five, five, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17, 9, 40, 41, X, X, red, 2. All right. Wow. X, 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 red, 2. X, X, red, 3, 2, X. All right. It's a three, four, five right triangle, and you're welcome. Now, how are we going to find X, though? Using the fact that we know that, oops, there's an H in here somewhere. Forgot to write. We know that triangle EGH is similar to FGH is similar to EFG. Great, wonderful. So what? All right. I like to think of it this way. First off, let's look at the big triangle. We have a hypotenuse for the big triangle, correct? Sorry, kind of keep unraveling itself. We have a hypotenuse for the big triangle. All right. Now, we really can't use um, this yet. Uh, sorry. We're not going to use this triangle yet that has um, x and 4. Let's look over here at 3. Um, 3 is the hypotenuse of this smaller triangle, okay? So I'm gonna put the hypotenuse on the bottom of two, uh, set them equal to each other, because they're similar. They're gonna be equal to the proportion. They're proportional to each other. All right, so five is the hypotenuse of the big triangle, and what is the longer leg of the big triangle? It's four. All right, three is the hypotenuse of the smaller triangle, and what is the longer leg of the smaller triangle? It's and now we have a proportion where we had a leg over a, the hypotenuse that goes with that leg is equal to another leg over another hypotenuse because they're all similar. There's actually a few other uh, fractions we could have made for this, but I kind of wanted to start with the big hypotenuse and the big side, five and four. And then I wanted to go to the smaller triangle, its hypotenuse and its leg, which is the variable. All right, now you have to remember back to the beginning of the chapter, we solved proportions. So we did 5x is equal to 12. Okay, now I gotta move this over. We're gonna divide by five on both sides. And we're not gonna leave this as a fraction right now because um, 
well, it's a triangle. Theoretically, we're talking about construction here or measuring something. So it shouldn't be a fraction because we don't take out a tape measure and get 12 fifths. Not 2.4, whatever units, whatever it is. All right. Take a deep breath. Let's take a look at the next one. Number four. Draw it with me. Five, twelve, thirteen. You know what we're gonna do. All right. So make sure we know this for a fact. Actually, I do like to do the curly braces for that, but 13 is the big hypotenuse. So let's start there. 13 is our big hypotenuse. And the triangle's bigger side, bigger leg is 12. All right, so this is for the big triangle. Five is the hypotenuse for this little triangle right here. And hypotenuses go on the bottom and X is the bigger leg. So we cross multiply. Sixteen equals thirteen x. Divide by thirteen to get x. We're not going to leave it as a fraction. So we're going to go to a calculator. Oh, I guess we're going to have to estimate. So let's do curly braces to look really. Or sorry, curly equal signs to look cool to our siblings. Four point six two. All right, so it's about breaking it down, realizing what you have. You could have come up with other uh, proportions. One of the proportions would definitely have been, actually, you know what, let's do that. Let's take a look at this bigger one, it's 5, 12, 13. 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17, 9, 40, 41, X, 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 right, 2, X, X, right, 3, 2, X, and I skipped, 3, 4, 5. All righty, so, 13 is the hypotenuse of the whole triangle. And guess what? It has a leg of five. All right, so I already used the 13 and the five. So what does that mean? Well, here's a right angle. 12 is the hypotenuse over here, and X is the leg for that. Let's see if that works. 13X equals 60, and then where are we? We're right back where we start. 13x equals 60, divide by 13, you use the calculator, ha, ha, and then hit your dot. All right, very, it's different. If you're not seeing it right now, don't beat yourself up about it, don't get mad. This is different. Take a deep breath, try to find the proportions, and then talk to a friend, talk to <clears throat> a teacher later, okay? Let it sit for a while. I'm giving you a problem that you can't find in the book and you're gonna answer on Ed Puzzles. So this is gonna be letter alpha. All right, we do have a house with a roof. And it's not a uh, isosceles triangle. It's a right triangle. The base of the roof is 65 feet. I guess I should have written feet here, but you know what? Please let it slide. I'm tired. One side of the roof is 25 feet. One side of the roof is 60 feet. So can you find for me the height? And you can round to the nearest 10. All right, so again, we have a roof here. We have the base of the roof is 65 feet. One side of the roof is 25 feet. The other side of the roof is 60 feet. This is a right angle. This is a right angle because we wanna know the height at the tallest part of the roof. All right, answer that for me in a 